Now this year we had uh, uh, three uh, or four uh, key uh, areas or activities we wanted to undertake. First of all, we have been working on a policy, a national policy on the management of state families, uh, which has uh, addressed about seven issues, ranging from governance, uh, the program design, the issues of facility, the issues of accountability, the issues of how are we going to uh, achieve our mission and our vision. We have a very ambitious vision of having a country free of state families and so on. So that policy, it is nearly at its final draft. Already we have done validation and we are bringing on board the inputs from those uh, participants in that validation exercise, which we did uh, early this year, <coughs> such that now we can come with a final draft and then we shall disseminate the same uh, to people like you, the, stake, the, the stakeholders in this area, and so on and so forth. Then, we also decided that uh, due to lack of uh, data, uh, which can be relied on, we decided to undertake what we call a national census of state families. And some of you might even have been incorporated in this activity as supervisors. We, in the, we actually brought on board all the children coordinators in all the counties to be our supervisors. The children officer, I think some also participated. And this is uh, actually a nexus which is nearly over. So last week but one, we did uh, the data cleaning, the data analysis, and very soon, in fact, in the next one week or two, we are going to embark on what uh, another retreat uh, to write the report, the report uh, on this census, the results, and so on, segregated the data, and so on. They will be uh, required to coordinate the rehabilitation activities for street families within this county. Mombasa, when we say there is an issue of street families, it is that chapter that we have asked. <coughs> And you have had the chair is the commissioner. So even the county government will not sit and say, you know, that's a national what? In a international function? No. We have said let them work together because these children are either from Mombasa, and once they are within county Mombasa, that is their children until they have existed from this county. The next one is to conduct public education on issues of street families. They have to go out and talk to people, the sub-counties of this area, and tell them the problem of street families, how to prevent, how to protect, and how to deal with the ones that have already come to the street. Because if you don't prevent, the taps will still be what? Open. So the water will be flowing, and as you remove children, if, uh, uh, Joe gives us the number of uh, uh, street families in Mombasa has 600. If you don't prevent, the numbers will either be 600 or more. So that's why we are saying you need to do public awareness to make sure that we don't have more coming on the street and how to help those that are already on the street. Then coordinate the provision of life and vocational skills for those street children <coughs> and those who have to go back to school, you ensure they have gone back to school because we know there is free primary education and it's supposed to be compulsory as per the act. Atakama Itakua will build, it's, being a, 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 it's now a bill, but we have also proposed that even education should be compulsory up to form four. See, at the end of class eight, we have to say, we have to say, we have to say, we have to say, we Four. So that is why we have proposed that education should be compulsory up to Form 4 and even free 